know what that montage was inspired by. A heart-moving, tear-jerking, thought-provoking movie about a mother dissatisfied with her life, her daughter, husband, family-run laundromat being audited. Only to be sucked into the multiverse to fight a seemingly villainous version of her daughter. The drama and imagery is truly fantastical and everything everywhere all at once. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to recreate this montage. It's super simple and easy. Before we jump into it, remember to like, subscribe, and try out the software for free. Now let's go! So the actual montage from the movie is about 30 seconds long. For efficiency's sake, I'm only going to make a 10 second version. To start, I'll need to take at least 20 selfies wearing different clothes or accessories with different backgrounds. The bigger the difference between each selfie, the better since each photo is supposed to represent a different universe. You can also include some videos to recreate the slower moving beginning effects of the montage. But make sure you take at least 10 seconds of footage for these. Be sure to use a wide angle lens, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio for your camera will be best. And another important note, keep your eyes forward and try to frame yourself in the same spot in every selfie. Alright, now we need to get into perhaps the most difficult part of this montage. We need to make the main clip as the base to build everything on. In the movie, the base clip is a video of Evelyn's face with multicolored lights swirling around her face. There are many different ways to recreate this effect. If you have any color changing light panels or handheld light wands, that would work too. We are using normal studio lights with sheets of multicolored cellophane to change the colors. While filming, I am keeping my face centered in the middle of the frame while another person rotates the light around my face and creates that multicolored outline. And again, in order to give it that multiverse variety, I'll be changing my clothes at least three times while I do this. To start our edit, we're going to open up PowerDirector and make sure the video aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9 before clicking new project. Then we're going to import all of the selfies that we took into our library. Now we're going to drag and drop our base clip onto the timeline so that we have something to build off of. Drag and drop all the other selfies at different points throughout the base clip. Each photo should be at least 3 frames per second and video parts can be a bit longer. The length can be as long or short as you like. But what is frames per second? Well, that's just a unit of measurement for frame rate. According to Wikipedia, frame rate is the frequency at which consecutive images are captured or displayed. Basically, to put it simply, it's just a number that shows how many images are shown each second. The greater the number, the smoother and higher the quality of the video, and anything that is 12 frames or lower won't be perceived as in motion to your brain. Now back to the tutorial. You can adjust the frame rate by moving the length of your photo or video according to the yellow part of the timeline. Input as many photos as you want here, in any order you like. The more you have, the crazier it'll look. Now moving on to the audio portion. Make sure that you've muted the audio on the video portions of your montage before overlaying music. Then pick a track that you think matches the vibe of your montage. Pull it onto your timeline and click on the audio file bar to open the edit function. Under the tools tab, select audio speed and adjust to your liking. If you want the video to sound more frantic like in the movie, then a faster speed is probably best. And there you have it, a completed multiverse montage. Hey there! I see you haven't left the video yet. If you enjoyed your stay, then let me know by giving me a like and subscribing. Also, did you know that PowerDirector is free? You can click here to download. Alright, I'm going to go now. See you guys next time.